Okay, so um, so Xiaoming has uh, already gotten to, uh, to found out where Lan Lan is. She's at the library, and the mother asks for if you can take a message. And so Xiaoming says, "Oh, not what Xiang Wen Ha, I want to ask her. What Xiang Wen Ta want to ask? Literally want to ask. What Xiang Wen Ta." Can you say that? And then what does she want to ask her about? She wants to ask her about English homework. So English homework. Ying Yu Zuo Ye the Shar. Ying Yu Zuo Ye the Shar. Okay? So that's how to say, express uh, about something. Ying Yu Zuo Ye the Shar. Um, so then he goes on to say, well, when will she get back? Let's just focus on the word when here, how to ask when. Shen ma shi hao. Shen ma shi hao. The little ho got cut off there, but it's pronounced shen ma shi hao. Shen ma shi hao. When. So he asks, ta shen ma shi hao. Starting with the subject and then the time. Ta shen ma shi hao. Shemusha how what? And then we have a lot of words here in English. Would she be able to get back? Well, Chinese people would just say, Nung hui lai, can return. Nung hui lai. So, ta shemusha how nung hui lai, when can she come back? Ta shemusha how nung hui lai. Is the question? And mom answers. 六点钟吧六点钟吧 6 o'clock The ba here sort of being like uh, uh, I guess around 6 o'clock Something like that 六点钟吧 Okay So Xiaoming says Oh, 好的, okay, 好的 Um 那我六点半给他打电话 Here we have the na Na means then So 六点半给他打电话 I'll call her at 6.30 Notice where the 6.30 六点半 is in the sentence Things like time and place Usually will come right after the subject So the subject is 我, I and then the time, 六点半, will do what? 给她打电话, give her a call. 给她打电话,谢谢阿姨, thanks, Aunt, auntie. Okay, so about to finish up, and um, the auntie says, ah, 别客气, 别客气. I'm sort of like, uh, not at all, you're welcome. Be chi, be chi. Not at all. Ke means a guest, chi means the air of. So don't have the air of a guest. In other words, don't be so, don't feel like you're so distant from me. Don't be polite. Be a chi. Not at all. Be a chi. Okay, finishing it off. And then so the conversation ends. Xiaoming. Says, Ai Zai Jian. And that's it. Goodbye, Auntie. Ai Zai Jian. Okay? So you want to go over each one of those slides, practice the pronunciation, be ready for the quiz on in the next class, and be ready to practice the last part of this dialogue.